17 5A showdown out in Katy. Taylor on the road traveling to Seven Lakes. Both teams 3 and 1 in District 17 5A play. It was a battle for first. Gusty wind blowing to left field, but Seven Lakes pitcher Clay Fowler was sensational early on as he catches Taylor's Matt Mitchum looking. Fowler continued to put up zeros on the board as he fans Cole Foster. It was 1 0 Spartans of Seven Lakes on top of the Mustangs of Katie Taylor until the fifth inning. With two outs and nobody on, Max Harris hits the soft grounder towards third. Fowler comes off the mound. Nice grab, but cannot make the play at first. Harris is on with an infield single. Matt Zapalak follows that one up with a bloop to right. And this Texas leaguer has eyes falling in for a double, moving Harris to third. That brings up senior switch hitter Zach Whitten, who just unloads this Fowler pitch over the left center field fence for a three-run homer. And just like that, it was 3-1 to one, Katie Taylor. I knew the kid played Fowler, and so we played in the summer together and we're really good friends. And I was like, okay, he's going to give me something. Throws probably the fattest fastball I've ever seen. I'm sorry if I have to say that to my friend, but and then I just launched it over the fence for a three-run shot and gave us the lead in the fifth inning. In the sixth inning, check out the defensive stop by third baseman Matt Busick, who guns out the Mustangs, keeping the game at 3-1. But in the seventh inning, Witten strikes again. This time, a two-run double to left center, just missing his second homer of the game off reliever Kendall Stacks, 5-1 Katie Taylor. I just took it the other way, kind of center field, left center, and I uh, hit the wall and I uh, got those guys in, give us that extra uh, comfort boost for uh, the rest of the game. The Mustangs would add a sixth run as this wild pitch to Brett Martin allows Witten to score and it was 6-1 Mustangs heading to the bottom of the seventh. Matt Zaplak relieves Brett Martin with a pair of runners on and allows this RBI single to Matt Busick to make it 6-2. Trey Brooks makes it 6-4 with this drive to left but with the tying run at second, Zaplak gets out of the jam when he gets Brad Snowden to fly out to short to end the game as Alan Tompkins squeezes the ball to finish off the Spartans 6-4. We were just really excited to get this game. And in that last inning, you could see how the emotions were really high. And uh, I have to give it to our pitcher, our junior pitcher, Matt Zaplak, for uh, coming in and uh, getting that save right at the end. Well, that's a big win. Uh, anytime you win a district ball game, you're talking about a big win, especially against a quality opponent. You know, when Seven Lakes and I were tied, uh, Seven Lakes and uh, Taylor were tied tonight going in uh, at 3-1 apiece. So being able to get one game up on them and stay in first place in the district is a, a big thing. Uh, as far as the rivalry goes, it's an improving rivalry. We're talking about two uh, good programs that, that are going after each other, uh, tooth and nail every time. So it's always a good ball game when we're going to match up. In Katy, Jeff Power, Max Prep Sports. Katie Taylor senior outfielder Zach Whitten is enjoying his final couple of months as a high school baseball player, but he'll be the first to tell you it's all about the team and their quest for a 17-5A district title right now. District title, that's our that's been our goal for four years. And of course state. We go to state and we're gonna mess some people up. A very good team player. He contributes to the team very well. He's a switch hitter. He, Outfielders has some speed. He's helped us a lot, a lot this year. He's been on the varsity three years as well, and he's just a good team ball player overall. At five foot ten, 165 pounds, Whitten is swinging a hot stick. He's batting 315, has seven stolen bases, and 19 runs batted in. Part of that might be due to a change in the batting order. You know, Zach Whitten, uh, we moved him from the two hole down to the nine hole just uh, to, to uh, get a little bigger bat up there in the front of the lineup. I'm not sure if we didn't move a bigger bat towards the bottom of the lineup. He's been a great ball player for us all year. He's uh, hitting in the mid threes, uh, our upper threes right now. He's got about three or four home runs on the year. He's doing a great job. Uh, he rolls the ball. He can do multiple things. He can bunt. He can steal. He plays great defense. You know, Zach's been uh, uh, a pretty much all around guy for us all year long. So what is the senior thinking in his near future? Well, if you guessed playing baseball on the next level, you would be correct. I'm thinking junior college and then transferring over to bigger D1. Um, hopefully it'll go that way, but if it doesn't, something will happen. Of course, the competition level in Houston is about as high as it gets, so getting noticed is half the battle. Houston area, by far, in my opinion, is 
one of the best areas in Texas for high school baseball. And you can see at like Rice University, they pick up the majority of their guys from Houston. It's just based off how you perform at the right time. In Katy, Jeff Power, Max Prep Sports.